video we are going to see what is uh, SIP of multimedia networking yes it's in module 5 <coughs> what is SIP? SIP is nothing but session initiation protocol so it is used uh, for the telephonic communication or voice communication uh, especially in VoIP, in the applications of VoIP, uh, this uh, session initiation protocol is used. So what is the use of it? What is the long-term vision of uh, this SIP is? It's used in all telephone calls, video conference calls uh, with that take place over internet. As I said, if it is going to use IP or internet, then this SIP protocol is required. People are identified by names or email addresses rather than by phone numbers. Yes, since we are using internet, that is VoIP here, the, the destination or the, yeah, the destination can be identified by uh, either mail address or the IP address, not by phone number. Yes, uh, can reach callee. No matter where Kali roams, no matter what IP device Kali is currently using. We can reach at any time. No issues wherever he is there. Uh, uh, actually, in the normal telephone calls, he should be within this uh, area, like within the state. If it goes out of the state, then it will become roaming and all. We are there. So, in case of IP, voice communication, there is no such conditions. Yes. What are the SIP services? It provides uh, all the mechanism for call setup such as for caller to let callee know she wants to establish a call. So it helps to establish the call to the callee and uh, so caller callee can agree on media type and the encoding. We have so many encoding types which we have seen in the previous video which I have put for a RIP like PCM, Motion JPEG, uh, H2. 35 these are the different encoding types so the uh, caller and the callee can agree of these types and to end the call once the call is established it has to be ended so for these three things to establish the call to agree upon the media type and the encoding and to end the call and to determine current ip address of the callee yes I said we will be using either mail address uh, or IP address to uh, call the callee or to communicate with the callee. So it also helps to determine the IP address of the destination. It maps mnemonic identifier to current IP address. Yes. URL to a current IP address is converted here. That is mapped here. And call management is also done. How the call management in the sense add new media streams during call yes change encoding during call that's what we saw in the uh, last uh, point and invite others yes conference calls can be made and the calls can be transferred and the calls can be hold so these are the call management services that is provided by the SIP yes how to set up call to the known IP address yes I want to talk with my friend uh, I know his IP address in that case how will I communicate with the help of the SIP yes so as a sender first I should send SIP invite message to my friend see I'm the source and he is the destination I am sending the SIP invite message see here invite Bob at this IP address that is my friend let us assume my friend's name is Ramesh so Ramesh at 192.32.20.1 so this will be my invite message and see these are all the stream type encoding type all these things are uh, attached with this then this message is sent through the port number 5060 and it reaches the Bob that is receiver and again the Bob should send whether he is ready to communicate with allies or not then he is sending the response message that is called SIP response message and see here the code is 200 and the word is code type is OK then it is sent to the allies in the port number 5060 
once the allies or the source gets this uh, response message then will the previous message will be acknowledged with the message called acknowledgement ack through the port number 5060 once this handshaking is done then audio data will be transferred between the source and the destination so this is how sips that is session initiation protocol helps in the communication of the audio using internet next setting up a call yes how to set up a call uh, that is codec negotiation that is encoding type has to be changed means then it will send if bob is not it cannot accept the encoding type which is sent by the allies then he will bob will reply with 606 not acceptable reply message with that again the allies will go can send the new invite message advertising different encoding type yes then rejecting a call so if bob doesn't want to talk with the allies then what he can do is he can reject by sending busy gone payment required or forbidden message media can be sent over rtp or some other protocol yes this is the example of sip message as we said first we have given invite from whom then to whom and call id content type this is encoding type and length length of the encoding whatever is the audio that will be attached here here we don't know bob's ip address the next scenario is the first scenario was we know the bob's ip address with that we have seen how to communicate that just by, by sending invite message then response by the receiver and the acknowledgement by the sender after which the data can be audio data can be communicated that was in the case of if the sender knows the ip address of the receiver now we are going to see if the sender doesn't know the ip address of the receiver, but just <coughs> he knows the url of the receiver how to call how to identify the ip address yes <clears throat> so here we don't know bob's ip address uh, so allies sends uh, receive sip message using sip default port and <clears throat> allies specifies header and the name translation uh, is done as like dns the name translation should be done caller wants to call callee but only has ca callee's name or email address as i said need to get ip address of callee's current host yes i know only the mail id or url of that destination but i want to have some voice communication with them in that case what to do so if i want to have voice communication then i need ip address how will i get this so need need to get ip address of call is current host user moves around dhcp protocol user has different ip devices so result can be based on time of the day caller status of callee so based on these things the result is result is dependent and the sip register what is the use of sip register see just now i said we have to convert the email address or the url into the ip address to have voice communication so we need a special component called sip register what is the use of this the function of it is also one of the functions of sip server that is it acts as a register when bob starts sip client client sends sip register message to bob's registrar server if at all any new uh, user uh, starts the sip installs the sip application then first it will notify the sip register that i am the new client see client sends sip register message to bob's registrar server so to the bob's register registrar server it should that is bob should register himself so what is the uh, how the register message look like is like this see in the diagram register so its own domain name so whatever his ip address that will be also sent to register in the registrar server so in the registrar server two things will be there his domain name and the ip address 
so from who, who is sending this bob is sending so from sip dot bob to whom it is sending to the sip registrar server then when it will be expiring 3600 seconds they are giving so periodically it should be refreshed to keep the entry alive in the registrar server sip proxy another function of sip server is proxy one of the the other function was it acted as registrar now it can also act as proxy the sip server can act as a proxy so ally sends invite message to her proxy server so as a source the ally will be sending the now the problem with the ally is ally only knows the i uh, url or email address of bob uh, now ally wants to identify the ip address of bob so it is going to use uh, ally is going to use proxy server so ally sends invite message to her proxy server uh, it, it contains address of the destination that is bobs that is bob at domain dot com proxy responsible for routing sip message to callee possibly through multiple proxies first proxy it is the responsibility of the proxy to provide the ip address to allies so how it is going to identify the ip address and provide bob sends response back through same set of sip proxies bob will be using the sip proxies to give the response back proxy returns bob sip response message to allies which contains bob's ip address yes so how the proxy came to know the ip address of this from the registrar server so as i said in the registrar server two things will be there the domain name that is uh, email address of the bob which is mapped with the ip address of the bob so with the help of the domain name sent by the allies it will look into its table and it will get the ip address of the bob and the bob's register server will be sending it to the allies proxy server then the proxy returns bob's sip response message to allies which contains bob's ip address sip proxy analogous to local dns server plus tcp setup yes it is similar to tcp dns and tcp server yes so see here uh, this is these are the steps involved to identify the ip address of the destination so first the source sends invite message to uma sip proxy then uma sip proxy forwards request to poly registrar server that is register intermediate server then poly server returns redirect response indicating that it should take k3eurocom dot from then it again it directs it to the destinations registrar server that is eurocom registrar server uh, eurocom sip registrar then eurocom sip registrar will check in its that is uh, in its own table it is your com register forwards invite to 197 which is kate's message then kate will give the ip address that is 197.87 which will be forwarded to which will be forwarded to again uh, jim through the his own proxy and with that the ip address which he received he will contact the uh, the destination with the ip address received by the source this is how the intermediate sip proxies helps to get the destinations ip address it may involve multiple uh, 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 proxy servers or sip registers or single based it, it depends so with this uh, uh, we are coming to the end of the video that is about sip sip is nothing but session initiated protocol uh, so it helps in the audio communication as we said and call termination establishment and all other things and it also does the domain name servers work dns uh, protocols work and apart from that it we it helps to change the encoding type and the media type uh, so this is all about sip and um, hope you have understood what is sip thank you thank you so much bye